Imagine learning after several years the man you grew up believing was your father turned out not to be. New evidence has come to light that Barack Hussein Obama's real father may have been Frank Marshall Davis, a former member of the Communist Party USA. In a new film scheduled to be released in July of 2012 entitled Dreams from My Real Father, directed by Joel Gilbert, that case is made in part with naked photos that have surfaced from Barack Obama's mother, Ann Stanley Dunham, purportedly taken in the home of none other than Frank Marshall Davis around the time that Barack Obama would have been conceived. Now, could this have been the same Frank that close family friend and mentor Obama affectionately referred to in his autobiography? Well, if Barack Obama did indeed learn that Frank was his biological father at some point in his life, it would have meant that the birth certificate he presented to the world before was fraudulent and that he would have known it both before in 2011 and to this very day. That would have been an impeachable offense since presenting a fraudulent identification document is a felony under Title 18, Section 1048, or excuse me, 1028 of the U.S. Code, punishable by up to 15 years in prison. Now, as many have searched tirelessly for proof that Obama was born in Kenya and is consequently not eligible to be president, Evidence may very well exist that he actually was eligible to become president, but lost that right when he allowed a fraudulent birth certificate to be presented as a real one. Now, regardless of whether Obama will be disqualified in the 2012 presidential ballot for having a father from Kenya or for presenting a false birth certificate or perhaps for accepting financial aid from some foreign student scholarship, the question remains, will Barack Obama soon be escorted out of the White House in handcuffs? Time will tell. And speaking of time, we're out of time. I'm Jerry McLaughlin concluding another episode of Shattering Stereotypes. <laughs>